Okay, really quick video. I'm going to show you how to wire up a pair of Mitsuba Arena 2 horns. Uh, this is a common aftermarket accessory in Japan. I believe it's still available new and very common used. Um, the wiring when the harness is all jumbled up together looks quite intimidating and it's quite hard to find a diagram online. I actually found the wiring for this on a Russian forum discussing stuff bought from Kruber, which is the website we buy a lot of our Japanese surplus parts from, and someone uploaded a diagram there. So the horns, the, the system is basically three parts. You have this module, which acts as the relay also, and you have two horns. Uh, you have a 480 hertz horn and a 400 hertz horn. So, uh, the way this work is actually quite special because normally with a horn, if you apply power to these two terminals, you get the horn to make a sound. But this one's, uh, if you try to plug 12 volts into these parts here, they barely make any sound. So they won't work without this very specific uh, module. And this is how it all wires together. So, coming out from the bottom of the module is the wiring harness. And you have a black wire here with red dots and that basically grounds the whole system. So you can ground it wherever usually I cut this one short so that you can just ground it to the same bolt that you mount the, the module with. And then there is a green wire with a black stripe. Now this one which has a bullet terminal or bullet connector on this terminal this one activates the echo function of the horn. So if this wire is grounded, which is why I included it with this uh, ground, if you ground this, the horn will have an echoing function. If you don't ground it, the horn will just work uh, normally. Uh, you also have the option to, from here, instead of going directly here, you could loop this into the car onto a toggle switch that basically loops and then comes back so that you can toggle between echo and no echo functions. And then coming out from the, so there's a socket and more wires coming out of it. So if you split the, the wiring here, you have two sky blue wires, um, which are interchangeable in function. So the two sky blue wires are the trigger for the horn. So this will connect to wherever in the original wiring harness of the car you had the horns from, uh, you had the horns uh, connected to. So one will be positive, one will be negative. In most Japanese cars, the positive is constantly powered and the negative connects to the horn button in the steering wheel. Uh, but check your specific car to be sure. So one of these will be fixed and one of these will be the trigger to activate the horns. And then there will be a solid red wire with a fuse. This goes to uh, power the, the, whole, the whole system. So either you connect this direct to the battery power or connect it to the alternator output, which is also connected to battery power, and uh, feed it 12 volts. And then coming out of that is the rest of the harness, which goes to the two horns. So, as I said earlier, these don't work on their own. Uh, they have to be wired very specifically to this uh, module. And if you look at it closely, there's no polarity in the terminal. Normally, in a, in a car horn, you'll see, see it labeled positive or negative, but here there's none. So, we'll do this based on orientation for the vent hole. So, this is the 480 hertz horn and if you look at it with the vent pointing downward the bottom terminal will have a solid yellow wire and the upper terminal will have a red wire and a green wire connected to it uh, there and then basically the wiring also the the green wire makes a u-turn back into the harness to go to the other horn which is the 400 hertz horn so on the 400 hertz horn, uh, similar orientation, vent pointing down, you have the oh, sorry, you have the green, you have a red wire 
on the top terminal and the green wire on the bottom terminal. It's a little bit uh, twisted there. So that's how that's how that wires up. So now we're gonna do a little test to to show you how uh, these work. So probably gonna hurt ourselves by blowing the horn so near us but anyway so this is how it's wired and this is my little test battery here so you take your ground which is here and I'm gonna run this so I have a little alligator jumper to the battery and you connect that there and then we're gonna take our positive supply so we're gonna wire this like an OEM Japanese car where the positive what so one of the blue wires of the battery and I'll connect my this is my positive feed from this battery so we'll take one of the blue wires of the battery and this uh, clip it together with the power source uh, Hard to do this holding my phone. Uh, wait, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's I'm back. Uh, it's, I, I tried to do this with one take, but I don't have enough hands to hold hold the phone and do the wires uh, independently. So I clipped together one of the sky blue wires and the battery power uh, together, leaving the only open terminal is this other sky blue wire that I labeled as negative so this if we ground this should make the horns go off which we will do now Let's see now we'll connect the the ground for the echo function so that we can show how the echo works okay so testing again I've now connected this bullet connector for the echo function of the horn and this is a bit what it sounds with the echo okay so that's that and disconnect because it's a Sunday afternoon and we don't want to make too much noise here at the house and bother our neighbors so that's how you wire up a Mitsuba arena 2 horn with echo function it's actually my friend's horn, so hi Joe, if you're watching, <laughs> and we will send this, pack this up now and uh, send it to them for installation into a special project car.